To compete at iGEM, you need to use synthetic biology to solve real-world problems. Lyme disease cases have doubled over the last decade. Today, These teens set that their sights on finding a better way to detect and treat Lyme disease, something that has eluded adult scientists for decades. Transmitted by infected ticks, Lyme can cause arthritis, nerve damage, and heart problems if left untreated. One of the biggest problems with Lyme is the lack of like being able to diagnose it. So a lot of people will go years, like we've met someone who went 15 years without a diagnosis. Current tests make it difficult to detect Lyme in the first two weeks when it's easiest to treat. Lambert's big idea for better and earlier detection was to zero in on a protein generated by the infection. And this is the process where you work with CRISPR. Yes. Using the gene editing tool CRISPR and a simulated blood serum, they were able to target specific DNA strands where the protein hides, then snip away extraneous genetic material to expose the protein, enabling them to detect it with a simple kit-style test, like a COVID or pregnancy strip. Did you guys ever think, this is way above my abilities, way above my area of knowledge, or you just dive right in? Yeah, so uh, actually we did reach out to a bunch of different professors and stakeholders who gave feedback on our project. And they did tell us in the beginning that this might not be so feasible because you're trying to tackle such a big thing. They were also tackling how to treat Lyme. Standard therapy uses antibiotics, but Lambert planned to use CRISPR instead, targeting the bacteria that causes the disease. To make it work, they had to build software to model how best to use CRISPR. 